The Marshall Center at the University of South Florida just recently opened a new area in their building where students can gather in between classes. The sky pad located on the fourth floor is an area where students can gather to study, play video games, and socialize. Justin Evek, director of the Marshall Center, says the idea came during his numerous trips on the elevator with students. I'd get in the elevator and students would get in the elevator and I'd say, well, where do you, what floor do you want? And they'd always say, well, let's go up to four and we'll work our way down till we find a place to, to sit. And it got to the point, we saw them lugging up big TVs to plug their laptops and their, their game systems into these TVs. And we realized we don't have enough places for students to sit, to, to study, and to, to socialize and, and game. Those who don't game shouldn't feel there isn't room for them in the sky pad either. The other part is really a study lounge. Um, uh, an area where they can study, they sit, uh, just hang out. It's an area where actually groups can go in and do group projects because there's an LCD so they could work on a PowerPoint presentation. They could work on a group project. So most of the two thirds of the space is really for the general population. Yeah, I'm actually very happy that there's a place like this on campus. Like, as you can see around me, there's a whole bunch of students here um, just chilling, relaxing, uh, doing homework, playing video games. It's a really great place. They always say that this place is like the living room of the campus, and it's nice to know that they've actually put an effort forward to make it uh, like a living room. Absolutely. Absolutely it's a viable asset to students here. Because not everyone is here to just you know, go to class and be this 100% student all the time. That's not what college is about. College is about meeting people, having fun, and learning your education at the same time. So having a place where students can go to experience both facets of life, then, then you're absolutely doing the best you can for your students. And it is 100% viable. Reporting for TV News, I'm Alexandria Jones.